Well, guys, it is finally the time for me to make an updated tutorial video on the Fallout 4 synth production mod. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, a lot of you are having an issue where in the terminal it shows the synth token name issue uh... what i have found to do uh... because i had the same issue when i checked this the other day is if you have the mod installed uninstall it and then install it again uh, there's also a few other things that you will need to have installed for this video for the actual mod to work properly or if you want to get it done fast and I will show you those mods at the end of the video actually by the time I said that sentence you would have probably seen them already but if not, they will definitely be at the end of the video. So, I'm just loading back into my game save here. And I'm loading into another game save to where I actually didn't have the synth production mod installed to make this easier for myself. And one thing that I will tell you guys is if you destroyed the Institute, which I did, if not, you don't have to do this. The creator of this mod put the synth schematic tape by the USS Riptide. And I will show you where that is on the map once this loads because a lot of you are saying that it's not there. Well, trust me, it is because it worked for me. You see right there, it says retrieve synth fabrication schematics. So right now I'm going to take you to the map and show you where that is. So we'll hit show on map. I apologize, I hit the wrong button there. Now you'll see, it is right there. Travel to the USS Riptide. And once we travel there, I will show you how to get started from here. Now if you want to build the synth fabrication thingy I would recommend a really large area such as the Boston Airport and the reason why I recommend the Boston Airport is because the synth fabricator is huge and I mean huge so as you can see it's right there and I'll look back just to show you it's right behind the actual USS Riptide so as I was saying I recommend the Boston Airport if you want to have a successful synth fabricator or if you have a mod that I will show you at the end of the video which allows you to build your settlement anywhere just find a big enough area to where you think that you could fit the synth fabricator and just place it down there now you have to 
be patient with the synth fabricator because it takes a while to place. It is very finicky and you have to make sure, as I did here, you have to make sure that there is nothing in the way. You literally have to scrap all of this mess if you want to get the synth fabricator to place down properly. And a mod that I can recommend for that is called Scrap That Settlement. You can find it on the workshop. Again, I'll show you all my mods at the end of the video. But, yeah. You just want to make sure that you got everything out of the way. And it took me a little bit longer than I wanted to here. I should have just time lapsed it, but I didn't. Actually, I could when I add this voiceover in, because this voiceover is uh, pre-recorded. I made the video already, and uh, I'm just going to add the voiceover to the actual video when I edit it. The reason why I'm pre-recording videos now, or yeah, the videos and then the voiceovers, is because it's so so much easier for me to come up with things to say such as commentary or things like that so that's why I'm doing that now um, so just moving everything out of the way here and we should just be able to get started sorry this took me so long to move everything out of the way. Alright, so now we are going to get started. Whew, I was about to sneeze. So, one thing that I recommend you do, and I know I'm recommending a lot of things is go into all of your crafting components with the cheat terminal portable and just add everything as much as you can and you may get uh, you're carrying too much and you can't run uh, just keep adding as much as you can that way you don't run out of materials when you're doing long manufacturing runs of the scents because I know it takes a lot of materials and you have to have to store all of that junk in the workshop for the mod to register that you have all of the materials needed to manufacture the scents. Alright, so now we can get started. So, the synth fabricator is actually in power and miscellaneous. You'll see it, it's right there. And as I said, it is absolutely huge. It is massive. You cannot place it anywhere small. It has to be somewhere where it can fit. And it took me a minute to find out where to actually put this. And you can see, out of all the materials that I've added to my workshop, it said that I can only build... 13 synth fabricators that's a lot of material just to build that one thing I mean I realize it's huge but man that's a lot of material 
So just moving a little bit more stuff out of the way because it still wouldn't fit down and I eventually found the best spot for it to be. Um, I recommend you stand directly behind the entrance to this little area because it provides the most room for the actual fabricator so you're not having to run around and just scrap all this like I did. Wow, I had a little bit of a speech error there. <laughs> Sorry about that. I do stutter a lot. So, as I said, I eventually moved over to the entrance of the actual area and Piper she really got in the way um, I suggest that you dismiss any companion that you have with you because they will absolutely get in the way of this thing and as you will see later on in the video once I get this place down um, it actually caused one of my produced scents to glitch out and not show up. So you see, I just got a little green uh, mark there, so I have to turn it ever so slightly to bring that little green mark back. And you can see there it was. And we can now place it down. So, with that out of the way, and you can see it says cannot be moved after construction. So, where you put it is where it stays. So, make sure you put it somewhere where you're comfortable with it being. So, that way you don't have to worry about building another one. Uh, because you can't move that one. Now, I actually wound up putting the generator in the wrong spot. I couldn't connect the wire that comes from the generator to the actual fabricator. So I had to craft another generator and just scrap that one to get it out of the way um, don't make the same mistake I did because it took me forever to realize that that's why it wasn't working and you can see I just got the terminal connected up there and I'm trying to connect it to the fabricator right now and as you can see it's not quite working out because you'll see where the wire is it's all the way over there on the left side I'm about to walk over to it and show you right now or I think I do yeah I do it just takes me a little longer and I tried moving the generator over just a little bit more and it still wasn't enough because you see there's the wire connector right there and uh, it still wasn't enough so I just wound up scrapping that generator and building another one right next to the fabricator so I'm gonna do that now move it there we go And now the fabricator is powered up. Now I'm going to scrap that generator and move the terminal over there to the generator so we can get it powered up. So you can see now, 
I don't know why I was connecting another wire to it. It was already connected. I guess I thought you needed to add another one. Alright, so. The synth token name issue should be gone now. Now that you've uninstalled and reinstalled the mod. So now you can see it says my supplies are inadequate. So for this issue, we need to build a chemistry station to make the synth cell culture and the, um, what you call it? the new synth components so as you can see here it is in utility for the synth component and the um, synth cell culture and as I told you earlier you need to add all of this that it's adding to your inventory to the workshop otherwise it's not gonna register and I will show you what I mean by that in just a few seconds so you'll see I'll walk over to the workshop hit transfer go to my inventory junk and you'll see all those synth uh, components in the cell culture what you're gonna want to do is store those in the workshop and you can see we're gonna do manufacture synth production run and I actually forgot to show you guys one other thing and that would be the body scanner so what the body scanner allows you to do is scan any person that you find in the commonwealth and turn them into a synth so if you wanted to you could even do it with piper and you could have as many pipers as you wanted to running around so right now I'm just looking for a biometric scanner to craft the body scanner so we can continue on with the tutorial and I should have had this ready but I didn't so eh. that was pretty dumb on my part but the creator does need to update the mod a little bit though because I can understand why some of you guys didn't find my original tutorial helpful which now has over 5,000 views oh my god guys thank you um but I can understand why that tutorial didn't help a, a lot of you because there was a bug that messed with the code of the I think it was the code of the mod that caused the uh, synth token name issues to pop up um, but what I did as you've seen at the beginning of the video is just uninstalled the mod and then reinstalled it again and as you can see everything is working as it should now and I am going to show you the body scanner in action right now and the ammo that you need for this uh, body scanner is just the cells that you would 
used uh, for the laser musket and things like that. So just make sure you have some cells on hand. And right now I'm trying to find. And there we go. I found someone to make a synth out of. So I'm going to fire one of those cells into them. And um, we have done that now. Yes, Piper. Which I don't know why you said that because that bullet was nowhere near you. So, but whatever. So now what's gonna happen is you're going to see whenever you do manufacture synth production run you're going to see that brotherhood initiate in the options list or i'm sorry he was a brotherhood paladin but hey. anyway you get the point so Head whatever you add with the body scanner comes to the list and you'll see what i mean in a minute when the synth glitches out because Piper was standing right there. Go check that out. You see she Go just there. fell in the thing. So there. what I eventually did, as Move you out. will see it glitch out right here, is told her to go back to Red Rocket Truck Stop which she still didn't go back so but um for some reason she could not figure out how to move out of the way and you can see that scent just got dropped in there hey uh-huh and piper watch it glitch out and then it just stops it's time we part ways. Yeah, so sure. now I had to grab more material because you'll see everything stop and just go back to normal. This is the point where I dismissed her. And <laughs> As you'll see there, she still didn't move anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. She didn't even attempt to walk off. She just stayed right there. But it was out of the way of the synth production line. And you can see my materials are inadequate again. So I needed to craft more. Which took a few seconds, but other than that, it was a pretty simple process. I needed some more purified water, so I added a few more so I could craft what I needed. So I just went into the cheat terminal portable again, went to items and equipment, aid uh i believe it's in d drinks wow i stuttered majorly there and you'll see uh purified water just click that a few times you can see i clicked it more than i needed but that was able to give me more material for the uh, production run that I needed. Oh, sorry about that clip there. My microphone got a little bit too close to my mouth. I'm sorry about that. But you can see I crafted some synth cell culture to make up for the missing materials that we had. 
and as I just told you before, make sure you put it into the workshop because I almost forgot to do that. As you can see, I'm still trying to walk over there because I almost walked back over to the terminal. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty slow process walking back over there. But, um, as you can see, go to it's in my aid now and just store all that purified water in the workshop actually no I made a mistake you don't need to store the purified water in the workshop all you need to store in the workshop is that synth cell culture that you just crafted let me move my mic away a little bit there we go. Let's try that. So you'll go back to Synth Production Run, Brotherhood Paladin, and it will start again. And uh, just so you guys believe me, you have to watch the whole video because you know what I just noticed? Look. If you pause the video right there, that one synth that I told you glitched out came out of the um, thing. And I didn't even notice that until now. Look at him, he's over there. If you pause the video right where I'm saying and look over to the right of your screen, you'll see him. He's wearing no shirt and a pair of underwear. He's standing right over there in the corner. And I didn't even notice that until now. So that synth didn't even glitch out. It, I just didn't see it when he... When I went back to the terminal to start another run. And you will see, he kind of... glitches a little bit and then he will come right out and you can see now we have a couple of them and it's gonna start another run to produce the second to produce the second one and um, right now I'll just kind of show you the process of what it's doing again make sure you have your companions away from this because as I said before but it didn't happen it may cause your sense to glitch out when they pop out of the water um but yeah that's pretty much it as you can see it is working properly as it should and um I hope this tutorial was of help to you guys and as you can see it just dropped another one into the water and out he comes but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the production run for now And, um, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. But until then, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial helped. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.